I've written a series of posts on valuing the deep state that are part of my Frankly Fukuyama blog on the American Purpose website. One of the oldest complaints made by conservatives about modern government concerns the administrative state that was created in the course of the 20th century. During the Trump administration, this critique morphed into a narrative about the so-called deep state. Conservatives have charged that bureaucrats, in connivance with the courts, exert tyrannical power and seek to impose a liberal agenda on the country. While there is something to this charge, it is vastly overstated. In trying to correct this problem, conservatives are very likely to overshoot and cripple our ability to govern ourselves, in the process returning the United States to the 19th century patronage system. Some form of deep state is not just tolerable, it's necessary in any modern liberal democracy that wishes to provide citizens with the basic services that they demand. This is not the view that I started with when I published The End of History and The Last Man in 1992. At that time, I didn't appreciate the extent to which what we now call state capacity was critical to economic and social development. As I explain in this series, this insight came to me only in the course of studying failed or collapsed states in developing countries, in particular after the U.S. invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq. In those cases, U.S. foreign policy had to deal with the problem of creating a state where none existed, and it found itself without the intellectual resources to understand the requirements of state building. Political science had not really grappled adequately with the phenomenon of state formation and state building. The books I wrote at this point in my career, my 2004 book, State Building, Governance and World Order in the 21st Century, and my two-volume series, The Origins of Political Order and Political Order and Political Decay, were all efforts to fill in some of that vacuum. You can follow this thread that is part of the story of my own intellectual development in this series of blog posts to which you can have access by subscribing to American Purpose at the link at the bottom of the screen. So thank you very much for listening.